Guys, we're going back out into the shop, and today I'm gonna show you the latest from Retivas in the GMRS repeater world. This, my friends, is the RT97L from Retivas. This is their newest GMRS repeater, and we're reviewing it today on K6 UDA Radio. Let's do this. I just got home from an epic camping trip at a place called Peekaboo, Idaho. We camped right by a world-class fly fishing spot called Silver Creek Fishing Preserve. I went with Mrs. K6 UDA and two other couples, and those guys are not, not radio dorks like I am. We spent most of the week uh, fishing, four-wheeling, and relaxing. Now, while I was there, just between you and I, I discovered that we were camping at a POTA site, uh, US 11254, the Silver Creek BLM Recreation Area. So I activated that area and I made contacts with over 40 of you beautiful bastards. Thank you so much. But today's video is not about me doing contacts or our camping trip for that matter. Today, we are talking about this little guy. This is the Retivas RT97L. This is Retivas's latest, greatest iteration of their GMRS repeater. And just why are we talking about a GMRS repeater here on K6 UDA Radio? Because, guys, like I said, camping with a bunch of people who aren't hams, but I could hand out a bunch of radios to these guys, and we could all stay in communications, but we're going to talk about that as we get into this. All right, back out to the shop real quick. Let's talk about this bad boy. This is a super heavy-duty uh, constructed repeater, uh, all-metal case. Very, very cool. It's got a funky little leather strap on the top of it, which works. The leather cut down on some RFI that they were having. It has a proprietary power plug and an RS-232 on one side and an SO-239 antenna port on the other side. Now the radio comes with a power adapter that plugs into that proprietary port. This repeater also came with a cigarette lighter adapter plug, which came in really, really handy on my trip. Also included are some mounting hardware and for programming an RS-232 to USB cable. All right, getting the repeater up and running and on a frequency is super, super easy. You can do it from the front panel of the unit without ever having to hook it up to a computer. You can adjust the volume. You could pick any one of the 15 GMRS repeater frequencies that it has programmed into it. Your channel lock, scan, on and off, function set, backlight control, low, TP, the audio set, modem set. The initialization option, I don't want to initialize this because I've set it up and the software version. Now for any more in-depth programming, you're gonna need the CPS program and you're gonna need to hook it up with the supplied uh, RS-232 to USB cable. All of those function menu items you can adjust here in the CPS. Now if you need to do some more advanced things like uh, setting the power levels, setting wide and narrow, or changing your PL tone, you do it here in the CPS. The CPS program is fairly simple. Uh, it's Windows only, so us Mac users, we're kind of SOL as we are with most every ham radio and radio programming software. Fun fact for those of you that aren't hams that might have just a GMRS 
license or no license at all for that matter. According to FCC regulations, every station out there needs to identify themselves every 15 minutes or at the end of a conversation. Now my Yesu ham radio repeater, it IDs itself with CW. You know that thing? The Retivas repeater is pretty basic and it doesn't self ID. The guys over at repeaterid.com sent me this super, super cool little box. It hooks up right to my repeater and it will do the identification. You make yourself a, uh, an MP3 with your call sign or the message, whatever you want to put in there and you hook it right up and every 15 minutes on the dot, it will go ahead and play my ID. This is a uh, repeater ID from repeaterid.com. These guys were kind enough to send me one. Uh, RS-232 16 pin on one side, that goes to the repeater. You could plug an external speaker in over here. You can plug a 16 pin mic in over here or a Kenwood style mic uh, in here. Inside the box, you've got uh, dip switches to control a few things. You can force, a, uh, force an ID and you could turn up and down the volume. Uh, super small little computer on here. Currently listening to the Curry Idaho GMRS repeater on 416.725 megahertz, tone 136.5. This is part of the K6UDA repeater system. WSAN 428. Another one of my friends, another repeater owner here in Magic Valley, heard my ID on my GMRS repeater when I hit, put that up in the garage, and he called me, said, where did you get that? I told him, and he ordered one. And to radio nerds like me and Lance, that is how cool that little repeater ID is. Stand by for an incoming radio transmission. All right, guys, I hate to interrupt this masterpiece of a video, but since Retivas did send me this repeater to review, they also asked me yesterday, actually, uh, to promote their uh, their new promotion, their repeater promotion. Uh, this thing goes from August 1st to August 31st. There's, they say there's five spots available. I'm sure if more than five people got involved in this, uh, that they would honor it. Uh, so disaster response teams, amateur radio clubs, operating uh, DSR stations, which are, I guess, disaster search and rescue stations, uh, or individuals with experience in building home emergency communication systems. I would say that's just about anybody. Uh, if you meet any of the above criteria, you're eligible to participate, how to participate, DM uh, them on Facebook. Uh, what do you get? Eligible unit? Eligible users will have the opportunity to try the uh, RT97L repeater for 14 days at half price. Uh, love it after the trial. You could purchase this powerful device at extremely discounted prices uh, to make this a long-term communications partner. Not satisfied, just return it. They get a full refund. Good. Uh, so you really, you don't have much to lose. And based on my experience, I don't think you'll have anything to lose. Now back to the show. Now, because it's much easier on the ranch to uh, give employees and family members a GMRS radio and everybody can just stay in touch and do it for the mundane things like, hey, lunch is ready, or I need you to turn off this irrigation pump over here. Fight. To 
To be perfectly honest, I had never, ever considered bringing my own repeater out into the wilderness. Well, guys, this has absolutely changed the way I think about GMRS. My buddy Dave and I decided to take a uh, scouting trip way up into the backcountry and the repeater absolutely held it together three mountains over. We were 10 full miles away over three mountains. Outstanding. We're uh, we're about eight miles in, and we're at the very, very top of the mountains right now. So I met a guy, and he told us where all of the hunting spots were, and I even met a guy that does private guides. He's a horseshoer. He's looking for some horses for us now. Oh, cool. Very, very cool, honey. All right, we're going to start heading back down the hill. Be safe. Okay, love you. WSAN 428, clear. K6UDA, clear. All right, guys, here in the motorhome, uh, got HF set up here on the dash, doing a little POTA activation. I have the GMRS repeater set up here in the mobile home, or in the motorhome, plugged in to the cigarette lighter adapter. And this thing has performed beautifully. So needless to say, I am thoroughly, thoroughly impressed with this new Retivas repeater system. Uh, well, well worth the money. This thing performed like a well-oiled machine. Uh, I have no complaints about this thing. It is simple enough just to leave up. You uh, disconnect it from power, power it back in. It turns on and it just works the same way that it did when you unplugged it. All right, the street price on this repeater is about 450-ish dollars kind of base price. That's no frills, the repeater by itself. Supply your own antenna. This is the antenna that I used. I actually ordered uh, a Retivas GMRS repeater antenna on Amazon. It came, I hooked that thing up. Uh, I have the uh, the little 16-pin speaker mic on its way. I do want to say that Retivas did send me this repeater to review. It in no way uh, dictates how I do my review, but I'll tell you what. This thing is a stud. I am a buyer. I would buy another one in a heartbeat. Given what I know now about traveling and setting up a quick, dirty little GMRS repeater. Oh yeah, I couldn't even use my GMRS repeater antenna on the motorhome because I forgot to bring something to uh, hang it from. Uh, I used a tiny little dual band antenna that I've got up on the roof of the motorhome. No joke, guys. Unplugged a ham radio, plugged that thing in, and it just worked. 
All right, guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please uh, give it the thumbs up. If you haven't already hit the subscribe button, please hit that subscribe button, the bell notification, all that good stuff. Consider supporting me somewhere, Patreon, Locals. Do all that good stuff. Check me out on uh, Rumble. Check me out uh, over on YouTube. I think I'm gonna do a short little deal on that repeater ID because that thing is cool as beans, dudes. Anyway, uh, that's all I got. Have a good one. Catch you on the next one. I'm Bob, K6UDA. I'm out of here. 7-3.